financing. Get your big flooring deal at the Laminate Flooring Clearance Sale this weekend. Visit LumberLiquidators.com for your local store. Welcome back to the show, folks. I am your host, Fred Dreyer. Mike, uh, Michael Horn, my good compatriot pal, is uh, on assignment in Hawaii. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I turned on the uh, television last night, and, I, and I, uh, uh, I turned on Fox. I first of all turned on MSNBC, and I, and I, and I watched that idiocy. And uh, uh, it, it, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, you know, for the sake of uh, making my notes, you know, for, t- for today's show, I, I, I decided I wanted to get my, my information from Fox, from that feed, uh, and I didn't want to, you know, uh, have to deal with any uh, nonsense to know that I was, gee, I'm, on, I'm, I'm writing stuff down, you know, off of MSNBC. I, I, I did it off of Fox because uh, it was a better feed for me. And, uh, and when, I, uh, when I heard that, uh, that Chris Christie, uh, you know, a week ago or so was going to be, uh, they announced that he was going to be the keynote speaker, I cringed because uh, I've always said this, and I think I, I was talking with Michael Horn about it one day, that, uh, you know, this was uh, a- Ann Coulter's great love. Chris Christie should be, should be nominated for vice president because he is the greatest. This guy is left of center, folks. I keep saying this term, left of center, and that's where the party is, and that's where this RNC, this 2012 RNC is. They are left of center, and as we all know, and as we've discussed many, many times, it's not my opinion, it's just a fact, politically and literally, that the Constitution and the American way of life is right of center. The Constitution will be found right of center, and that's where America is. That's where America is. And, and that is the crux of what is being attacked by Barry and all of these other failures in life. These America-hating, shameful, irresponsible toilets that, that uh, are, are uh, driving around town, dumping sewage wherever they possibly can. And that's exactly what's happening. We are being deluged by, by the toilets of the left. And, uh, and I can honestly tell you that, that uh, you know, it's heartbreaking to see the Republican Party so lame and inept to not grab an opportunity. You know, uh, I, I listen to a lot of radio stations. I listen to uh, a lot of uh, individuals. I read a lot of stuff. Uh, I go uh, and look uh, and see where uh, where people are writing the the, the the stuff that you don't really uh, you don't really see every day, and you don't have a conversation about every day, and different opinions that shed different light on things. And uh, and so, uh, I, as I've said to you folks before, you know, the American thinker you know, AmericanThinker.com, go there and take a peek. And I'm, sh- I'm, stu- I'm sure you can still get it. You know, it's the July 9th edition uh, of The Gathering Storm Within the GOP by, by Darren Jonescu, J-O-N-E-S-C-U. And I'm going to read you just about two paragraphs that kind of sum up what he believes to be true here. And uh, I think we have enough time to do it, or do we? No, we, we, I don't know if we'd have, I don't know if we do or not. What are we at, a minute and a half or so? Well, I'll, I'll wait to read it to you, but I'll set it up for you. Uh, what, what is going on in the, in the Republican Party and has been is a struggle between what are the values and what is the business model that's going to be presented and sold to the American people as a conservative movement. If you're not right of center where the Constitution is, you are not a conservative. And I don't mean a Republican. I'm not a Republican, as I've, as I've said to you before. But, but I am a right-of-center, constitutional conservative. I believe in the Founding Fathers. I believe in those principles. This is the greatest charter on earth. It, it's not an opinion that it works. America just didn't pop up 236 years ago, and all of a sudden, gee, what a lucky break for that country. You know, uh, the... What, what, is, what, is, what is beautiful is that, is that the truth is out there bigger than Texas. It's, it's laying out there. And all you got to do is open your eyes and take a look at it. And uh, one of the truths is, the great binding truth is, is that the, the Republican Party that we knew, certainly with uh, Mr. Reagan, Ronald Reagan from 80 to 88, is gone. 
Uh, I don't think it'll ever come back. I, I, I thought the Tea Party might be even awake, might, might have an awakening, but it, it doesn't. And, uh, and so uh, uh, that has completely been cast aside, the, uh, the Tea Party. There's no mention of it anymore. It's like the, the great landslide victory we had in 2010 has not even been acknowledged. It's like it never happened. And you don't have anybody within the Republican Party, including uh, Mitt, Ryan, and this Chris Christie, you know, the donut eater. And there's a lot of donuts missing, you know. Got to go down, got to go down to Christie's office and, uh, you know, look under the desk. I think there's, uh, I think that's, that's where they are. But this guy, this guy came out with one of the worst speeches I've ever heard in my entire life. Because, why? Because he missed the opportunity. But he capitalized on the opportunity that is now the GOP. The GOP now is, is really left of center. You know, we'll get into it when we, when we come back. Thanks. Stay right there. This is Larry.